hello everyone in this video we will learn how to build a uh, simple and basic model with the help of Vensim uh, software so this will be a system dynamics model and uh, we will understand this with uh, the system uh, building the system dynamics model with the help of Vensim tool and uh, this will be the model uh, a smaller version of this model will uh, see how to build this kind of model okay. so first of all we'll uh, once we open the Vansim software it will the uh, screen will look some similar to this so first of all we'll start with uh, building few variables creating few variables so first one that will be waste now um, next then we'll connect the input and output of this variable so that we can do with flow tool so click on this flow tool and then point it out so we are creating a input to the waste variable so we'll click on blank screen and then connect it to the waste variable now so this one will be our waste generation variable next output of this waste variable that is your waste collection so that is waste collection now two uh, one input and output has been created now next we will generate a few uh, uh, other variables with your uh, that will look like this um, blue arrows okay so these are all the variables just that this one is a stock stock variable and other are input output and auxiliary variables so we'll uh, now we'll need to create few auxiliary variables from this that is uh, waste generation factor waste collection factor dl effectiveness dl target uh, waste management system collection goal so that we can do with this uh, is variable tool now we are generating a new variable that is waste generation factor next variable that is waste collection factor then another two or three variables that is DL target and WS collection goal <clears throat> now we'll see that uh, many of the variables are as an input to the WMS collection goal variable so this will create a kind of feedback loop for this WMS goal variable so we can take DL target compactor target bulldozer target so we are just uh, picking up few random variables bulldozer target and <coughs> now that we have generated a few of these variable of the model so it will look similar to this now we have to connect the uh, series so uh, we can connect the relationship with this arrow tool so just click on this arrow tool then click on the uh, first variable from which we you want to start the variable, uh, relationship arrow so that is waste generation uh, click on this waste generation factor then click on waste so it will look similar to this if you want to uh, make a curve of this arrow that you can do with dragging the in between point that will look uh, a circle that will be look like a cir circle in between 
are just connecting this now you will see that waste collection to waste generation uh, sorry waste uh, stock variable waste to waste generation and stock variable waste to waste collection that we can do with this one now let's say that okay. Let, let's say we want to make it a curve then click on this waste variable then click on an in between point in this and then on the output of ours so it will look similar to this again now uh, I'll finish up the model by uh, linking all the relationships Now we'll save our model with the help of file save as and okay system dynamics best one. So in this way the model will be selected. Now whenever you are using uh, tools from this toolbar, then you'll see that once you click on this, it will be stake uh, selected so you can remove this selection by escape key <coughs> excuse me now that we can see that our model is looking uh, much similar to this one but a simpler version okay so now uh, we have generated our model and saved it as a waste uh, system dynamics waste one now uh, if you want to see the cost tree and uh, uses tree then you can see from here so first one select on this cost tree <coughs> it will show you the causes or input to the variable okay. so it is the whole uh, cost tree you can see from this cost tree tool but let's say you want to just uh, identify that what are the inputs of uh, west variable that you can do with this one now let's say you want to identify the inputs of the waste collection core you can see it with this so there are three inputs to WMS collection core so uh, you see that model can be quite complicated when we are adding multiple uh, inputs and outputs so for uh, simplicity and to understand the model in a simpler way we can use these tools so let's say we want to see what is the output of this WMS code so there is one output directly that is WMS collection code to waste and then from w, uh, west to west collection and west generation so this is how the whole feedback loop will look like now if you, if you want to identify the loops in between the system you can identify it with this loops tool uh, you can see that there is no single closed loop so we are not able to see this but when you build a model let's say you are connecting the waste connection collection factor to the compactor factor so it will be a single loop it will start from okay, uh, okay. let's say you are starting with compactor target to waste uh, WMS collection goal and from the west you are connecting the compactor goal so it will be a, 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 a complete loop now once this one is done you can minimize this <coughs> move this and uh, now 